and welcome. Today I will show you a farm designed by Engine, a friend of mine. Hey everyone, my name is Engine, and today I will show you the Hellfire Chopper, my fully automatic nether stem farm, which outputs the two amazing nether wood blocks as well as shroom lights, and of course all the other warp blocks if needed. This farm is truly one of a kind. Firstly, it does not use any TNT duping, making it usable on all servers, even where duping mechanics are disabled or not allowed. Uh, the TNT dropping sequence has been optimized intensively to ensure flawless continuous operation as well as optimal logs over TNT returns. In addition, to date, this farm has the highest rates in terms of logs and shroom lights per module for fully AFK nether stem farms. Secondly, the farm produces about 70% of the bone meal it consumes, filling the farm all the way up allows continuous autonomous operation for more than 92 hours straight without any bone meal input. Let's look at rates in detail. The contraption produces about uh, 1,970 logs per hour, both of the red and the blue type, and about 570 shroom lights per hour. In terms of shulkers, that's about one shulker of logs every 45, 49 minutes, and one shulker of shroom lights every three hours. All the work blocks, roots, etc., are composted to uh, produce bone meal to sustain the farm. But thanks to the sorting system, you can also choose to save some of these blocks if needed, and the output is quite insane. Logs are the essential component in Minecraft. You can use them for building, crafting items, or numerous redstone components such as hoppers, pistons, and so on. In addition, shroom lights are light emitting blocks, which are also capable of conducing a redstone signal. So this makes this farm extremely useful for your survival world. The TNT usage is about 5.4 stacks per hour and there is plenty of storage for long AFK sessions. The farm was born from the idea of using four refreshing pistons on which we attempt to grow trees and then blow them up from the inside out, which was originally conceived by Tango Tech in Hermitcraft Season 7. As Engine said, this farm doesn't use TNT duping. This means it can run on any server, since many servers don't allow TNT duping. And it's also great for people that don't like cheating game mechanics. The TNT usage is optimized and is very efficient. Sequence he found to be optimal is a particular repetition of dropping 1, 2, 3 and rarely 4 TNT according to a specific pattern from a single dispenser. Correct. The four pistons are governed by individual circuits connected to a customizable sequence generator which is activated every cycle by an instant vertical redstone wire using water mechanics. The farm has also several interconnected systems and processes which will be explored in detail in later videos. Yes, if you're interested in an in-depth look at the farm and how to make it, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. We will also provide the world download. This farm is also easy to operate and maintain. To turn it on or off, simply flick this lever here. You can then input bone meal from these chests and TNT from this hidden barrel here. In addition, there are several warning alarms in place to give you feedback on the status of the farm. Firstly, we have a low on TNT warning at the very top of the farm. At that point, the farm has a bit more than two hours of TNT reserves. Secondly, if the farm runs out of TNT, the emergency stop will activate, thus instantly turning off the farm and overriding the on switch. In this case, simply refill the farm with TNT and press the manual reset button. Thirdly, if the farm is low on bone meal, this lamp will turn on and a sound alarm will give you information on which side of the farm is low on bone meal. Finally, the clogging warning is given if the farm has ingested unwanted items that cannot be composted thus telling you to check the hoppers behind this bone, uh, the bone meal production section and to maybe recover that netherite armor or tool that you dropped in the farm while you were working on it or simply died by mistaking it. The farm can produce two different kind of logs and you can easily switch between them by switching the central block to warped or crimson nidium. Correct. Technically it is also possible to run both types of trees at once by using two crimson and two warp nylon blocks on the refreshing pistons. But eventually, after about 15 to 20 minutes of operation, all the four blocks will be turned to the same color as the center middle block, thus only giving you one type of tree at a time. So this will be all for the initial showcase of this novel design. Thank you very much for watching. 
and stay tuned because more details on this farm are yet to come. Anjan also has some other projects he wants to show you off in the future and we already have some ideas for collaborative projects. I'm currently working on a pretty big project myself which is even more complicated than my lift. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything in the future and as always thanks for watching, bye bye and till next time.